This was the second day of our trip, or leg of the trip, I like saying leg. We were so blessed to be able to see Mount Fuji from where we were, which was so, so cool. We went to the area of Hakaiwan, and we went to Okadaiwan. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so sorry, I butcher everything. It's this sulfur area which is technically an active volcano, which makes these really cool black eggs that are supposed to um, prolong your life by five years. Um, and it also, they also have like lots of mines in this area that take you know the sulfur like water. It's not, it's not that bad. that's one of the black eggs there. It takes the sulfur water into um, all of the other onsens in the area. That is green tea, by the way. This is the second best green tea in all of Japan. And some really cool shots of Mount Fuji. And there you can see the sulfur areas. It wasn't as smelly as I thought it was going to be. And it was really cool to just like see all of the um, like active areas really um it was a very windy cold day so it was kind of hard to feel comfortable hanging out outside for longer than necessary really but um it was really cool to to do some research and to find that out about this area that like technically this is an active volcano guys like how crazy is that and pretty much everywhere we went you could see mount fuji which was so so cool we ended up seeing 001 from Advent Galleon, which was really neat and random. And we went on these, we called them pirate ships, because that's what they look like more, but they're actually supposed to be um, Viking ships. And you can take it from one end of Lake Ashi to the other, which is really cool. And um, you can see Mount Fuji from being on the water. I would have loved to have been outside, but again, it was just so cold, especially on the water and the wind. And it just wasn't that great of a day, all, all in considering. But it was really cool to take, um, lack of a better word, a ferry from one end of Lake Ashi to the other. And um, there's a really good shot of what the Viking ships look like. And they just go back and forth. There's many of them, different colors, which is really neat. And um, it was our first sighting of the Tory Gates, which was really, really neat. I was so happy that we finally got to see some because I kind of thought that there would be like um, Tory Gates and temples and shrines and stuff everywhere. But this was our first little shrine that we got to see. How cute is that? And yeah, there's just like local fishermen hanging out on the docks and our first taste of like street delicious food. We've got some mochi and um, rice. It was just so delicious. And we found this like random game shop, which was really cool. Like there, it was just massive with like games everywhere. And these like little creepy babies. I couldn't get enough of like all these creepy babies everywhere that you could see. Um, but yeah, there was like just all these cool, like, it reminds me of like Chuck E. Cheese or something is like the best way for me to explain it. We didn't really want to spend that much of our cash yet because it was like only the first day of the trip. Oh my God, at first I thought there were real chickens that were dead or something. Oh my God. Yeah, but they even had like, um, Kit Kats and stuff in some of these. It's just like so interesting. And ears? Like, what? I don't know. It's just like the funniest, weirdest things that they have here. I do like that they've got like these little step stools for like little kids to go on, which is really cute. And um, yeah, like just lots and lots of different random things you could spend your money on. Look at this really nice send off we're getting. We're just leaving the port for Mount Fuji and they've got fireworks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see them. It's a little tricky. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think we're getting it on the camera. Oh no. That's okay. I'm sure you guys can hear it. There's, there they're shooting them off, but. Anyways, how nice is that? There's tons of people saying bye bye. Bye bye. All right, it's fancy night. I've done my hair so far. Ta-da, I brushed it out. I, I like to use a straightener to um, like curl my hair. And Chris is trying to sort out her suit right now. Because fancy that. night! Do you crapify it? <laughs> I love it. Anyways, see you guys in a bit. Here you can see some of the drawings from the first day. Chris did this magnificent piece of the um, Mount Fuji and everyone always wanted to take pictures of all of his work because he's just so amazing. It's just so frustrating. No one's pictured my work. But we got to sit and listen to these wonderful musicians while we were drawing. Like, what a life. There's a, like, the water was really, really strong when we were there. There was like big waves and stuff, but like, it never really affected the ship too, too much. Sometimes you kind of felt like you were drunk and you were like bobbing back and forth while you were walking. But, you know, all in all, it really wasn't all that bad. And I gotta say, with the jet lag, the first night it ended up making us wake up at like 2 a.m. Japan time and it felt like you only had taken a nap and you didn't want to go back to bed. And then the next day, it's like we were wide awake by 5 a.m. It was so hard to go back and to sleep. So I think uh, at first, you are looking for a shop. And along the shop, then you go to the bamboo forest. I, I, it's better than the after shop. Togetsu Bridge. This is a famous bridge for Arashiyama. Our next stop was Kobe, the port of call, and we ended up going to Ayashirama, a bamboo forest, which was close enough to Kyoto because um, the style and the architecture of the buildings were very Kyoto-esque in the sense of like very muted colors, low rise, everything's like woods and, and that kind of color. This is like an extremely old, 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 old bridge. Like I can't even tell you how old. Um, but this is one of the busy street, streets, which was really beautiful. The cherry blossoms were already starting to fall, um, but it was still really lovely and beautiful. We saw a Miffy store again. Look at how cute this store and the shop is. Sorry, some of the footage is from my phone because um, I posted it up on Instagram if you didn't already see my posts there. Like, look at how pretty these shots are. We ended up going the complete wrong way. First, we went to this really cool temple. I'm, I don't remember what kind of a temple it was. Shinto. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was a Shinto shrine. And um, it was just so pretty. Oh my god, we're at Kyoto subway station. And I love this. It's so pretty. With all the different kimonos. Yeah. It's just so pretty. Look at them. Oh, don't let me eat all the time. And Chris has a pickle. <laughs> So yeah, we went to this shrine and um, it was very big. I didn't know what to expect and you had to walk for a crazy long time to get to where you were going. Um, and you again, you had to like pay to get in, which was too bad. I didn't really want to spend our money yet. <laughs> Um, we actually were running out of like small change at this point so we didn't really have anything to be able to go into the shrines anyways but the gardens itself are just so stunning turns out um, if you say garden in the west you think of like bulbs and flowers and that kind of stuff but in Japan they they more think 
of like rocks and pines and moss and stuff like that so that's why there's like these pebbles everywhere this is their version of like a garden which is really neat to learn about like different areas and what they generally think of things um, but yeah, no, it was like just a really stunning place. I wanted to try using my mocha cam here, which is a 4k fish angle lens. So sorry about it being a little bit, um, bobby aroundy. I haven't really used this camera before for stuff like this. And I wanted to try, since I had it on hand for like many years, I wanted to try and take some footage with it. So it is kind of neat to see like more of what's going on if you will but um yeah after this we were trying to make our way to the bamboo forest but um you'll end up seeing we kind of got a little lost because we didn't take the turn where you were supposed to and like as we kept going and that's where you tie your bad luck as we kept going the area just was less and less crowded with people and tourists. So you kind of knew you were kind of going in a wrong direction, but um, we kind of needed to hoof it and figure out where we were going. But the funny thing was, um, even though we kind of went the wrong way, we I feel like it was more of an experience. So yeah, you could also run kimonos here. Um, obviously, we didn't really have enough time for that, but it was still really neat. So we ended up stumbling upon this massive Buddhist temple, like, oh my god. And um, this, by, by this point, we were going the wrong way. Um, the oh, wow. cool thing is at least the... we made Chris, our look, way. Look, look in here. Do you see? At least we made our way and side. figured out a way to get there without like completely having to backtrack. So we made it work, but we kind of needed to rush by the end because I was starving and wanted to get some food. <laughs> you will see later wow. on. But yeah, this this shrine was just stunning. I could not believe how big it was. Just massive shrine I've never yeah, seen really in my life. This and like this. <laughs> Um, again, pebbles everywhere and just seeing the cherry blossoms, it was just so pretty. And all the woodwork, you could smell the incense everywhere. All right. I want to go to the forest already. I can smell the incense burning. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Now we just stumbled upon some side streets and we were going up a hill. And by this point, there is no tourists, as you can see. And we were definitely going the wrong way. But Chris was like, but look up, there's the forest. We have to be going the right way. And I mean, you're not wrong. We did need to go that kind of that direction. It was more like to the left and curved up a little bit north. We were just going like straight north by this point. Same one. <laughs> And we stumbled upon another shrine. Look at how pretty this is. Okay. Yeah. 
there's there was also this little restaurant fun fact a lot of places will do the lunch rush and then close and then do dinner rush so if you're not there for those specific times you are sol to get food you guys i am not used to that in north america it does not work that way you are usually open most of the time so word from the wise if you are hungry do not wait for like 3 p.m (laughs) It's just everything was just so pretty. Everything was picturesque. Everything you wanted to take a picture of or video of. It's just like, look at this. Just look at this pretty pond. Like, and now we're getting into the bamboo forest area. Uh, I wish I took more actual pictures of being inside the forest. They were also doing construction close by. But here is the forest, like the main path that most people like take pictures of and that kind of stuff the weird thing is i thought the bamboo was going to be more of this like greeny color like green yellow it was more of like a green blue um so it was like really not what i expected at all for color but it was really pretty nonetheless like it was just so big and so tall like it was just so pretty um and turns out these like pat like the um, the covers that they have on the side there so that you don't actually go into the forest have been there since like the 1800s chris saw some like pictures from then which was really neat uh but yeah like we we then hoofed it as quick as possible so that we could get some street food and i love it because like the udon and like you could choose what kind of noodle you wanted and so i got udon and chris got uh soba and it was like four no seven bucks it's like so reasonably priced i'm so angry with how expensive food is here compared to japan you just want to weep so here we are walking on this like super super old bridge look there's moss growing on like a roof like i couldn't help myself we gotta just like video everything um we were crazily trying to look for stamps that didn't go over very well and we were quickly running out of time to get back on our tour bus but um we had a ton of fun regardless and i'm so happy that we got a chance to do this so here's our delicious food like i was talking about street food is awesome and here's also our mochi which was also extremely delicious and also the wonderful mountains I've got my little co-host here with me. If you've been here for a hot second and remember when I used to do that every single tutorial, then you are amazing. But anyways, I just wanted to pop on Editing Candy here. Thank you so much for getting to the end of the video. So I think what I'm gonna keep doing for these segments, as long as I have enough footage, is I'm gonna be doing like compiling two days into one. So the first video that you guys would have seen was Travel Day in Yokohama. Today, this video, was all about Mount Fuji uh, and Kobe or I should say seeing the hot springs and seeing Lake Ash and going to the bamboo forest close to Kyoto so I hope you guys enjoyed that footage if you got this far in the video put another little flag either Canadian or Japan or wherever you're from put your flag in but I am having just the time of my life editing these videos and I hope you guys can tell how much I'm enjoying editing these videos so I hope you guys will stay for the end of all of the videos because I will come on and say hi and a little blurb about everything um, the biggest question I always get with seeing family and friends after coming back from Japan is what was your favorite thing about the trip and it's so hard to say because there was like so many amazing things in every single place that we had been And I think for me, it's not what was your favorite thing. Um, I'm happy to have like little memories of things that I loved everywhere. It's more that I want to go back and to experience more because it was that good everywhere. And um, finding out that Japan is so much smaller than my own province seems insane. And how amazing the infrastructure there is and everything. Like we did not once take 
a cab or a car anywhere. We took public transit because it is that much more accessible. I mean, yes, to more of like the northern and more like outskirts areas, then you definitely need to have a car. But for everything that we were doing, generally speaking, aside from being on the ship and then going off of the ship, we were able to take public transit everywhere. And the other thing that we didn't go and do when we went to the bamboo forest, on the other side of that bridge, if you kept going, you could actually get to a, I want to say kind of like a monkey sanctuary, but not really because it's like the humans are the ones in cages and the monkeys are the ones that roam the hillside without um, a care in the world because the humans go and feed them all the time. And it's like a thing that you can actually go and do, but like we didn't really have the time. As you saw, we kind of got lost, but um, we did have some friends that went up the mountain and they said it was interesting and fun, but they literally had to like run to the other side to the bamboo forest anyways. So it was it was an experience i guess for them is like the best way to describe it if you're super into monkeys i would say definitely go and do it but it really it didn't tickle our fancy and i'm sad that we didn't end up getting any stamps from that day um but we definitely went on like stamp palooza after this point <laughs> trying to find stamps and where they're located and the next episode you will see those awesome stamps so i hope you guys will stick around and i will see you guys in the next video Goodbye.